Protect yourselves at all times. Let's go. Tyson Fury said to us just the other day that my God-given ability is almost unfair you know, for a guy of my you know, size to be able to you know. move the way I do. It defies reality. We saw that in June, all that incredible movement from him, and then the ability to turn it into offense and dismiss Tom Schwartz quickly. What do you expect we see tonight? Well, for me, I think Tyson Fury needs some rounds. You know, he's only been a round and a half since the Deontay Wilder fight. And I think he's going to take his time tonight and box from the, from the outside. And then eventually step inside and try to take it to Baleen. And probably try to go for the knockout, probably second half of the fight. Out of Baleen, who has overcome grief this year, is very close to his dad, got him started in the fight game. His father passed away this past spring. Family and friends have made the trip over to Vegas from Sweden. 35 family members in from Sweden to support him. And they were very vocal, sitting up close at the weigh-in yesterday. But these fans, whether it's the UK fans who travel so well and love to come to Fury Fight Weekends stateside, or the American fans who have taken to the heavyweight champion, they were roaring for him when he made that ring entrance. I want the fans at home to know that Tyson Fury has a seven inch reach advantage. That's a big reach advantage going into a heavyweight championship fight. Championship fight. 85 inches of reach from Fury on that six foot nine frame. I'm talking about the lineal championship. There's that jab out there. See his ability to probe as well as snap with it. Wow. You see the issues of Colleen trying to close the gap. There he comes with a left hand. That's the shot right there. I got you. Let me That Tyson Fury has to be very careful. Well, here's the thing about Fury tonight. After all the pageantry, he's not only got to win tonight, but he's got to look good doing it. He doesn't want to show any vulnerability because the world is watching and Deontay Wilder is watching. For his opponent. I got you. Let me go. Step back. Otto Valin, he's got to embody his nickname. He's got to be all in tonight and all he has to do, and that's a big all, but he just has to win. Tyson Fury has to look good while he tries to win. Well, there's two ways that Valin can do this. He can either stay on the outside and try to lure in Tyson Fury and set traps for Tyson Fury and make him pay when he makes mistakes, or he can get inside and work the body and slow down Fury and take that reach advantage away. And that's, that's seemingly what he's doing right now. He wants to get inside. Come on, hands free, hands free. Stop, stop, I got you, stop, stop. I like the fact that Valin is not a deer in the headlights. He's putting it on the line, he's pressing the issue, he's making Tyson Fury think, and, he, and he's making Tyson Fury work. T trust me, Fury's thinking a lot more in this first round than he anticipated. Let me just put it this way, he's not Tom Schwartz. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No. So a decent opening round for the challenger, Otto Valin. Ah! Told you his father died unexpectedly this spring. He's dedicated tonight in his career to the man who influenced him. Don, 28 years old, undefeated. He's never taken on a challenge even remotely close to this. Coming here to Vegas to face the wildly skilled, undefeated heavyweight champion, Tyson Fury. Round number two here. See how Valin, he's under his feet, you know, you know, his legs are good, he's always on balance. You know, hand placement is great, his hands are up. He's feigning every time he comes in, giving different looks in the front to Tyson Fury. Well, Ben Davison, the trainer for Tyson Fury, has great respect for what Valin can offer up tonight. He says he thinks Otto will make Tyson think that he's going to force Tyson to have to find range. And they feel, listen, give a good effort, but also give great prep for Deontay Wilder. Remember the mega fight, the mega rematch of the two undefeated heavyweight champions is set for this winter. It's been widely reported. It is talked about often, and both guys have to get through a fight to reach it. And what an event that will be, the build up to Fury Wilder 2, if they can get there. Let's check in with Bernardo. 
Apparently, Gamash told me that Otto Valin is staying calm and he's happy about that. He wants him to continue moving his feet and not stay static in one place. The most important thing is I want him to continue attacking the body because Fury's open. He would have much better chance if he's able to do that. Easier said than done, and there comes some danger in closing that gap, as he does there with a left hand. Good body shot from Valin. He's doing a good job. He has a great game plan right now. Everything is going to the chest of Tyson Fury and the body, which will slow down. It will show up. That work will stop, show stop. up later in the up. fight for Valin. Team Valin kind of let the cat out of the bag in the fighter meeting. They kind of alluded to wanting to go to the body and the chest of Tyson Fury yeah. and then try to go to the head as the fight progresses. He's doing that right now. Executing on that plan. Also showing himself, as you mentioned, Tim, to be mentally composed in this kind of a spot. Tries to turn the tables on Fury now as he has Fury in that neutral corner. And then Fury at range comes off the ropes, sweeping with a wide shot as Fury goes southpaw. And that wide right shot right. hurt Valin. Yeah, absolutely. Some punch sense. He put his guards up right away. His legs are a little unstable. He's still in recovery mode at the moment. Doesn't take much when it's coming from that man. One shot can change everything stop, 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 stop. Hey. with a punch Watch from Fury. Here we go. As a challenger, this is when you really see if you've really come here to win when you get hit. Tyson Fury hadn't really hit Valin up until this point. He just got hit. So we're going to see what Valin is made of on the inside. Intriguing second round as Valin continue to employ the strategy that works, but Fury had his stop, moment. Stop, stop, stop. End of two here in Vegas. And what did Fury do? He followed him out with a nice looping shot, caught him right on the chin. That buzzed him. Here's the end of the round here. And lunges forward, and what does Fury do? Timed him with a nice right hand as he was. Let's go. That's the 26 year old trainer, Ben Davison, one of the rising stars in all of boxing, the trainer of Tyson Fury. There's a certain calmness and maturity Ben Davison has, and they have a dynamic relationship. Round number three here, heavyweight championship fight. Thrilled you're with us here on ESPN. Plus. Joe Tessitore, Tim Bradley, Andre Ward ringside with you. Tess, I'm learning that age doesn't define a person at all any more than race or gender. You know, you can learn a lot from, you know, a, a, a younger person. I've learned a lot from, from my daughter, and she's going to be 15 years old soon. And that is the case with Ben Davison, as we've gotten to know him in recent years and marveled at his boxing IQ. Ooh. Trying to land that right uppercut as Valin was coming forward that time. Stop, 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 stop. This is the telltale sign that Valin is here to win. Is that every time he gets hit with a hard shot, he comes back with ferocity. He's not laying back. He's not looking for. It's the final week of the Big Stock Clear Out at Oak Furniture Land. So get big savings on 100% solid hardwood furniture. Don't miss out. Place to fall. He's trying to get his back. He's trying to get that shot back from Tyson Fury. If Tyson Fury is successful tonight, he's going to have to earn it. You know, that sounds like such a basic concept to put forth. Like, he's here to win. Like, what yeah. else would he be? But in this game, you can break a man's will very, very early. And that's not always the case. But that's why we talked about the confidence of the lean. That it wasn't just talk when you sit with right. this big okay, underdog. Stop, stop, it's stop, different stop. and you know it. I asked Valine, I said, do you have what it takes? Do you have what it takes to fight back when you start getting hit and to be at the, on this level and at this stage? And I loved his response. He said, listen, it's just in me. I know it's in me. I love that response from Valine. You don't think about a guy from Sweden who's never fought on this stage. And he said to us, he turned to us the other day and he said, listen, I look at the MGM brand. And, you know, that's where the fight was, was stationed this week. All the events were over there. He said, they had that giant marquee here on the Vegas Strip and his face and his name is on it next to Tyson Fury he goes it's not surreal everybody says is it surreal is it beyond your belief it's not it's not for me that was a sign but there are levels to this game skill levels that start to define themselves and Fury is as skilled as anyone he got to choose his spots though wisely you know you got to know when to fight and when not to and I'm talking about Arnold Valine because okay, Fury can be setting traps for him right now, looking to time him on the way in. Stop, stop, I got you. Not only can he, I think it's exactly what he wants That's to do. That's what he wants. You he wants a long man. That he wants to get rounds in, that yeah. he wants to get work. 
laying traps, setting traps, when eventually you have the mega fight rematch with a guy that throws right. dynamite, dynamite right hands like Deontay Wilder. Which you can't take a whole lot of risk with. As Fury found out. And there's oh, a cut now. Back. There's a cut. We will look at the replay and check as to how that came about. Stop, 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 but Tyson stop. Fury has blood you. streaming down the right side of his face. Just on the corner of the right brow of Fury. You'll see the stream of blood. Stop, stop, stop. Don't keep rubbing it. Relax, come shoot it out. You take my point, man. Ooh. That is a bad saw that but it is clear as day in our replay that it was a clean left hand that opened up that cut what does that mean and what's the difference between a clash and a, and a left hand if he can't continue and it's caused by a punch you have a new heavyweight champion let's check in with Bernardo Bernardo what did you find out Bobby Bennett is looking at the replay and they determined that it was a left punch that caused the, a cut over the eye. The same replay we were looking at is what they were looking at and it was clear as soon as the punch hit him and the glove came off, the cut was open and the blood started to flow. So a left hand by Otto Valine opens up that huge gash and now it's there has danger. to be a sense of urgency. There's danger because that is a big cut. And if the ringside physician and the ref consult and the referee says this cannot continue, that is a TKO victory for Otto Valine. Yes, it is. It's dangerous territory. Right now, I would tell my fighter right now, Tyson Fury, you got to find a way to knock this guy out of here. Get this guy out of here right now because that cut is really bad. And I don't want them to stop the match. This is why you can't just look at records. You can't just assume because you've never heard of a fighter that it's a foregone conclusion he's going to get knocked out in a few rounds. You have to always leave room for a fighter believing in himself and having the, the night of his life right. on any given night. Anything can happen when you have big men in the ring. Anything. This division and the history of it is filled stop, stop, stop. with shocking upsets. This is not a video game. This is this is a That's real right. life sport. That's right. And it's not scripted, Joe. Nope. The real drama. Inside that chamber of truth. 24 by 24. Deontay Wilder wasn't watching before. I'm sure somebody's texter called his phone and said, turn this fight on now. Turn, turn it on now, right? Cut. He's cut. Stop, stop, and, the, and it's a bad stop, cut. Stop. And the fight might could be stopped. And Valine has to target it. I don't think Fury needs to get out of character and, and do anything crazy, but he's got to slowly open up his offense and try to start putting yeah. the type of punches on Valine that could either get him out of there or cause, you know, the referee to jump in there because that's a bad cut and it's getting in his eye. And Tony Weeks is a great referee and he's keeping an eye on that. Yeah, and they have to worry that they don't have an over-anxious ringside physician as well who consults with Tony Weeks and says, I don't like what I'm seeing. I don't want it to continue. The reason why you often see concern with a gash like that is if that thing starts getting towards the bone, that's when a doctor will get in there and say, hey, there's great, con there's great concern here. Also, if his vision is impaired, Which it when is. the doctor says, I don't like what I'm seeing, I'm very worried about the condition of the eye. Because Fury keeps swiping at it. I've been there before and I know what he's going through right now. Nice shot right there by Otto Valene. Right to the chest of Tyson Fury. Ah! All right, so we will listen in and see how they manage this cut. Chill. Good. Tyler, you yeah. do a gum show for me. Yeah. You got two fucking cops. Come here. Yeah. Well, that accidental, yeah. Let's Chris. Go, Let's go. This is the first cut that Tyson Fury's been dealing with since 2010. Our ace reporter, Bernardo Asuna. Bernardo, I want to bring you into the conversation here because during that exchange with Ben Davis and the trainer and Tyson Fury, the lineal champ, I heard Tyson Fury said it was an accidental clash of heads. Does he realize that that was caused from a punch and that he could lose by TKO if it worsens? Does he assume it was from a clash or does he know it's from a punch? I think Tyson Fury is assuming that it was from a clash of heads earlier on 
won in that last round. He was yelling at Otto Volin, cut it out, cut it out, when he was getting in close with the head. So I believe that he's under the impression that it could be, if it stopped, it would be uh, go to the scorecards, and that would not be the case. Well, do, do me a favor. I want you to get with Benton Davison. You find out what that corner knows or doesn't know, and you let us know. Round five here, drama in Vegas. Fury and Valin, the upset-minded, undefeated Swede who came here 20 and 0, top spar sparring through the years against Anthony Joshua, and Big Baby Miller, and all of the solid top-level heavyweights. He was scheduled to fight this summer. That fell through, so he feels like he had the extra prep. He was ready for this when he got the call. He said, it's my time, I'm confident, and now there's a golden opportunity to hit the jackpot. Let's go back to Bernardo. Ben. What is the impression of Tyson in terms of the position of the cut, and was it a headbutt or a punch? Jorge's dealing with the cut. It was, uh, it's been deemed as a headbutt, Stop. so the referee's Stop. told me. Um, we did make the referee aware of that before. Uh, Actually, it's been deemed a punch. The Nevada State Athletic Commission saw the uh, replay, Stop. Stop. and they Stop. deemed Stop. it to be yeah. a clean punch. How does that change the outlook? What's that, sorry? Here we go. It's a punch. It was a clean punch due to the replay. How does that change the way you guys look at the situation? Well, obviously Tyson's got to deal with it. He's uh, got plenty of art, as he's shown before, so hopefully the referee gives him, uh, understands that, and keeps him in the fight. But Tyson's dealing with it okay. He can box, he can see, so don't see why it should be a problem. He seems to be pawing at it. How distracted is he, and how long till he gets back on track? There's a little bit. He's on track. Even though he's been cut, he's still winning them rounds. Thank you very much, Ben. Stop, stop, stop. So you see the confusion because at first right. the referee did tell the corner, and the referee does, said it was a clash of heads, but then they have replay here in Nevada. So the Nevada State Athletic Commission, stop, led by Bob no, Bennett, no, they we'll took a look and they said, no, that. absolutely, clean left hand, and it is a punch. No. Well, the commission has to clearly communicate that to Tyson Fury's corner. By the way, look, great job by Bernardo getting right on top of that, getting to Ben Davison. Great work. Final 20 seconds here of round five. No, Valine no, is no, not no, going no. away at all. And Fury getting hit with that big looping left hand coming from Otto Valine. That's because Fury keeps going to the right, which is right into the range of the best punch of Valine, which is that overhead left line. and straight left. He needs to stay on the left side of Valine and stay away from that left hand. Stop, stop. Who thought we'd Come be on. dealing with this? End of five. Let's start putting some more tempo on it now. It was starting to, it was starting to crack. One more time, this is the left hand that opened up that gash on the right brow of Tyson Fury. And as you got a closer look, as we watched the cup man, Jorge Capatillo, do his thing there, you also notice that there's also a cut on the lid. The brow has a gash. The swelling is on the lid, which now is expanded and has a cut. Stop, Round stop. number six up, here in up. Vegas, lineal heavyweight championship on the line to the young fighters at home this is why you don't play the name game if you've never heard of a fighter if if his record is less than stellar the you don't hand take hand you hand don't hand take hand it light in training camp you treat every fight like it's the, the toughest fight of your life so that way if a guy's not ready you I treat him like he's not ready and if he is ready you're ready 30 to 1 odds in all the Vegas sports books on Otto Valine. 30 to 1 I think it's the training stop, stop, of Joey Gamage stop, 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 right now stop, that has Valine in this fight. It's the fundamentals. He's using his jab. He's standing underneath himself. Joey Gamash, the former world champion. Bernardo's with him. And they both are really happy about the cut because that really has brought the sense of urgency in Otto Valine instead of the opposite. And Joey Gamash said, look, I want him to take risks. He's got to win rounds. He's got to be in there and not leave any doubt. I love that idea of taking risks. You're in a spot like this. You're facing the champ. Take your at bat. Stop, stop. I got you. Tyson Fury is rattled right now. He doesn't like the roughhousing of Otto Valin, but he's got to figure it out. If you want to be the best fighter in the world, and you, if you're saying you're the best heavyweight in the world, you have to be able to figure out a guy like Otto Valin, get through this rough moment, and close the show. Stop, That's stop, right. Stop. And you know, Dre, I don't, I don't think that Fury took him lightly. He came in eight pounds lighter. I don't think he did you know, either. I just think it's a great game plan by Otto Valin. Now this is what you worry about if you're the corner of Tyson Fury, the ringside position. He could advise to stop it. 
Hard to send. Let's go. Here's the sell. You can see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay. And you okay, have to go. keep Time, answering that way. I can see. <laughs> and now look at him, realizing that's up, that's the that's urgency up. as he comes off with a visit from the ringside position and fires away with a combination. Left uppercut on the inside, trying to smother on the inside, leaning forward, searching for an answer, pounding on the inside, looking to split that guard and smother Vali. That's exactly what you have to say, Joe. Just like you mentioned, if you have a bad cut like that, you have to let the, the, the referee, no, excuse me, you have to let the doctor know that you can see yeah. because the golden rule is if you say you cannot see, the referee, I mean, excuse me, the doctor. Because that head can just, you know, oh, keep that. Did you just see that as Valin was poking at the cut? He tried to thumb the cut. Wow. Watch what Valin does here when they break. Oh, okay. If you're going to dog fight him, when you change height, step in. Don't change height and stay there for him to keep pitter patting. Change height, step into him, smother wow. him. He rakes Push the him, face on him. across Body, the gash of the Tyson Fury at the yeah. end of the round. You listening? Look at this. Don't change your height and stay there. Change your height and step in. Change your height and step in. You could make a strong argument for an automatic point deduction just on that alone. Just on that alone. That was a deliberate foul. Did Valley forget that Tony Weeks was sitting right there? That's terrible. Like, like you can't do that. Remain aware defensively. Do not switch off. I can't run the team too hard. What? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Too much Vaseline, he said. Yeah, too much grease. Look at the glob of grease. It would yeah. surprise me if Tony Weeks doesn't stop this to have them wipe that down. Spread the grease out. Come here. Spread it out. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Ah, shut up. Spread out. Get spread it. Hey, right here, right here. No coaching. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Time now, let's go. It's a bad move from Valene to do what he did in front of Tony Weeks like that because now he's on Tony Weeks' radar and, and Tony Weeks is really going to be keeping an eye on everything that Valene does. Move to forward. Tyson Fury going for the knockout. Is, you can tell Fury Declaration. is hitting the accelerator a little bit here stop, stop. to start okay, this seventh stop. round. He understands the circumstances. Well, He's looking for that right hand behind the jab, isn't he? Joe and Tim, this is what you have to do. If you want to be the best heavyweight in the world, you have to respond like this. Yes, sir. You cannot bow out. You can't have a, a, a less than stellar performance because you got a lot of weight on your shoulders, and Tyson Fury has to answer that call. Stop, stop. Let him up, let him up. Watch it, watch it. Let him up. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. I just spoke with Jorge Capetillo, who is the cut man for Tyson Fury. He told me, look, the cut is big, it's getting bigger, and it's dangerous, and it's a dangerous spot, but Tyson can see. Right there when he came out, Tyson Fury took the Vaseline with his glove stop, off stop, of the cut. Stop. That's why they brought him back to the corner to put Vaseline on it. He's done a good, good job with the cut. Because it's not bleeding at the moment. And if you're joining us right now, just to remind you of how we arrived at this point, there was a big left hand that Otto Valina landed in the third round. They used replay. Originally, the cut happened, and the referee, Tony Weeks, felt it was a clash. They used replay to say, no, it was a clean punch, which means if the fight is stopped, there's a new heavyweight champion. It would be 30-1 to underdog Otto Valina. Let's see what Fury can do here. In the last half of this seventh round, as he is stalking. Valine has been so game, so determined to stay the course with his plan. Valine's going to have to stay concentrated. You know, he's fading a little bit right now. And he's fatigued. He's fatigued, yeah. And you see Fury coming on strong. Valine ties up on the inside instead of working. Earlier in this fight, he would work. He would throw punches. Valine's punches have no steam on him right now in this round. Three punch combination from Fury. Good body shot from Valine right there. He stuck that one back in. with that body nice shot, answer. didn't he? One, two from Fury. Then he leans down on his back. Fury, Fury has to watch the head of Valine, especially when he gets close. Valine's trying to put, keep that head on that side of where the cut is at. Trying to open it up even more. Of course, when you have Southpaw versus Orthodox, there's always a tendency for a clash of heads. Stop, 
Look at all that weight leaning down on that top rope. Big boy's making Tony Weeks work tonight. It's nearly 500 pounds of heavyweight laying there. <laughs> Coming to the end of seven. The drama continues here with it all on the line. And his corner go to the end swell to deal with swelling underneath the left eye. By the way, tremendous look with our 4D cameras here tonight. Nice answer from Tyson Fury. Saw several different looks of it, but it looks a little bit, a little bit better. Yeah. With those with that 4D, right? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Okay, here a we lot go. of Vaseline Time on the go. eye of Tyson Fury. Surprised that Tony Weeks didn't catch that. He caught it two rounds previously, but he didn't catch it right now. It all just fell off. It just fell off. 68-65 <laughs> on Dre's scorecard. That scorecard, the threat is that it doesn't even come into play. As that cut worsens. Fury's fighting off the back foot right now, using a good jab right now. Berlin right now trying to figure out a way to get close and land something hard over the top. Working that eye right there, Alvaro Berlin. Nice little short left hooks. Good body shot from Tyson Fury right there. Snuck it in and short left to the body. He's burrowing his way into the chest of Ali. And now he goes to the body. Two body shots to the belt line by Tyson Fury. We saw answers from Valin early in the fight, in the first three or four rounds. We're not seeing Valin answer anything that Tyson Fury does at the moment. There's a one-two from the champ. And it's not a heart thing with Valin, it's a fatigue thing with Valin. Plus you have Fury with that six foot nine frame yes. just leaning down on you time and time again, just holding that weight against you. Stop, stop, but this stop. is why everybody's not a champion. It's not a six round fight, it's a 12 round fight. You have to be able to shoulder up under the pressure and the fatigue and all the different things that happen for the full 12 rounds, not half of the fight. But Otto Valen doesn't have that experience. And, and that, that was the point of this fight. He doesn't have that experience late in fights against good competition. Valine has been 10 rounds one time and 12 rounds one time as well. Meanwhile, Tyson Fury has been floored deep into the drama fight against Deontay Wilder, arguably the biggest puncher in the sport, and rose up like the undertaker out of the WWE to go on to a controversial draw. Nice uppercut attempt right there from Tyson Fury as he stayed low. He came up with a nice beautiful uppercut. Three punch combination from Fury. This is Fury acting like a bigger man. He knows he has a size advantage. He's stepping inside and oh, big shot. Right hand right in. Short left hook comes in. Getting some damage done here at the end of the day. Absolutely. All that wrestling and tussling and stuff, that's that takes a lot of energy. Another right hand from Fury. This has been a strong, punishing round. Something taken out of him. Saw in that exchange, Valine still looking to rake when he can against that cut. See that man right there? That's Jorge Capatillo, the cut man for Tyson Fury. Do you realize how many tens and tens of millions of dollars are in his hands right now? Right now. To secure that cut, to try to keep the course for the mega event of Fury Wilder. There is CompuBox total punches. You see the numbers there. There's Tyson Fury with the connect advantage. See, here's the thing with what Tyson Fury is doing right now to Valin. It's one thing for Valin to get hit to the head, but Tyson Fury is committing with both hands to the body, and he's finishing to the head. Big difference, and if Valin doesn't have an answer, he may not be around long because fatigue is set in, but now he's starting to get punished. He's not just getting beat.
And Valin has also forgot to hit the body of Tyson Fury, something he did early in the fight. Which we said, if he could keep up, would pay dividends late. But he stopped making those deposits long ago. And instead, it's been a steady no, 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 diet of Fury leaning in, pressuring. Right hands. Joey Gamash, the former world champion, is the trainer of Valine. Bernardo's with him. Joey, this is a cruel sport. You said target the cut. What does Otto need to do here in this round? He can take and hit that cut, bust it open. That jab and overhand left. That's what he's got to do. He's got to hit that cut and break it open. Hit that cut, Otto. Now, how does he get this six foot nine, 250 plus fighter off of him? Because is he getting a little fatigue here? Well, he looks like he's getting a little fatigued, but he's still punching. You know, he's in there with a big guy, but a big guy that makes himself smaller. So we have to hit over the top. You know, we wor worked the body early on, but now we're looking to come up top. Come on, Otto, with a jab and overhand left. Thank you. We'll let you get back to work, Joe. Excellent access yeah. with Joey Gamash, the 53-year-old former 130 and 135-pound world champion who suffered when he retired in 2000. It came on the heels of one of the most brutal knockouts you'll ever see from the late Arturo Gatti. That cut has worsened again. It has opened up. Blood is painted down the right side of the face of Tyson Fury as he comes in with a right hand. Final minute here of round nine. That's the difference be between being elite, Tess. You know, the conditioning of Tyson Fury. You can see it. And you can see the want in Tyson Fury. Pushing him back, bullying. Auto violin, catching right hands. Ooh, beautiful right hands. Oh, and he goes to the body. Oh, he's searching for that big right uppercut, wasn't he? Just missed it. Auto violin is... Telling Tyson Fury to come on and give He's me more. Out. Tyson Fury is going to oblige. Another right hand reigns in. Valine does not want to be in that position. Tess. Trying to hang on against Fury. Tess, it's just a matter of time. Fury. Big uppercut. Closing seconds and Fury got him in trouble. It's coming from Auto Valine. Trying to answer. You know what's an amazing visual that sums up this fight? Look at the front of the chest and the forearms of referee Tony Weeks. Absolutely soaked in blood and sweat. These two big men separating them as the cut drains from that right up. Here comes Fury, a powerful attack to open the 10th round. Look at Tyson Fury. and lefts and then coming in like an offensive lineman head down into the chest of Ali this big right hand at range blood is everywhere ringside with every punch thrown we have blood splatter right on us right hand comes in against Ali very broke the spirit of of Ali broke the spirit Going down to the body, he's in them with heavy shots right now on the road. Finish, oh, good body shot came in. All the body big, hard, thick, right hand to the body. Mm. And then he strings low a little bit. Right uppercut on the inside. Fury tries to get some separation. The champ looks for a right uppercut again. We talked about this in our first fight. Sometimes it's about a feeling. This isn't a game plan. Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury feels like doing this to Otto Valine, so he's doing it, and Valine just doesn't have any answers. He's exhausted, Dre. He's been exhausted the last four he's, he's exhausted. He, he's fighting no, no fumes no, 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 right no now. No he's still fighting back in spots. He's but, trying. But Otto Valine should have recovered. It's one thing to have one round off, maybe two, but if you're going to fight at this level, you got to be able to recover and snap back. He hasn't recovered since that third or fourth round. It was all the body shots that Tyson Fury. There have been some thunderous right hands that have backed up Valine into the ropes in this round. That's what zapped all the energy and the power from Otto Valine. Valine is not effective right now, but I give him credit for being tough. And isn't it appropriate on a night with all the celebration for Mexican Independence Day on this traditional boxing weekend in Vegas that have seen so many tough Mexican warriors who have fought fights that included bad gashes, bloody messes, going to the body, having to dig deep that Tyson Fury gets a Mexican-style fight. <laughs> Bloody Isn't it a guts. Well, he told us in the fighter meeting, Joe, this is what he wanted, so he got what he asked for.
He needs these rounds, bro. Tyson Fury, I'm talking about that. He needs some these rounds. Balin got through this tank <laughs> somehow. Let's show you in real speed the action early in that last round when Fury did his thing. See, Tyson Fury, this is a real thing. This is an attitude. This is a feeling. He just let his shots go. He has no respect for Otto Balin at the moment. He definitely wants to make him pay for cutting him earlier in the fight. He feels like Otto Balin has been dirty, and he just wants to let him know what time it is. He wants to let him know that, listen, all the talk about me being the best heavyweight in the world, the lineal champion, is real. And Otto Balin is feeling the wrath of Tyson Fury right now. Working super mode here nice. with the uppercut. 85 inch reach, short punches Showing, like that. Throwing short uppercuts like that. You gotta respect it. Championship rounds for the Gypsy King, or as he wants everybody to call him this week, El Rey de los Hitanos. The skillful technician who's acting like a tough, grizzled veteran that he is. Second fight of his $100 million deal with top rank to fight on ESPN platforms. And, of course, the widely reported rematch, the mega event with Deontay Wilder. It stands in the balance for both men. As we said, anything can happen in heavyweight boxing. And they both need to pass a test to get back to each other. Bernardo, what's the latest coming from the corner of Valine? Very honest, Joey Gamache. I asked him, how's he feeling, and are you taking a close look at him? He said, I am taking a close look at him. I don't want him to take too much punishment. Well, he took a lot of punishment in that last round. There's no doubt about it. There have been 101 power punches landed by Fury. He has outlanded him in total punches, 150 to 98. And Dre's scorecard goes 98-92. Round 6 through 10 have been dominated by Fury as Valine has been hurt in the last two rounds. Well, Fury, Tyson Fury let off the body of Otto Valin. He needs to go down to the body. That's exactly how he broke him down. Nice shot right there, but he's hand hunting right now. If he goes down to the body, the head's going to be open. It's kind of hard not to head hunt when you hit everything you throw. Tyson Fury is throwing, and Otto Valin is catching. There's some tape loose on the right wrist. That blood-soaked right wrist of Tyson Fury. And if Tony Weeks sees it, we are going to have a stoppage here for him to address it. There you see it there. And there you see more of the leaning. Look at that gash. Look at the right eye of Fury at this point. Oh, he goes to the body well there. As he's just walking him back, driving him down, like pushing a blocking slam. As he paws at the eye again. Final minute here coming up of round number 11. How will Fury Stop. close okay, the so show? This, this is all guts by both of these guys. Mental toughness by both of these guys. Alvalin, he's been hit with some big shots, but he's still in there. He's fighting back. He's fighting as hard as he possibly can right now, and so is Tyson Fury. Listen, we are in a new golden age right now of boxing with the exposure and the investment of the sport with guys like Bud Crawford at welterweight and Vasily Lomachenko at lightweight, the two top pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. But there's boxing, and then there's heavyweight boxing. That's right. And this just feels different. It sure does. And right now, Tyson Fury feeling real good right now, catching Otto Valin as Otto Valin leads in. With a nice two piece. That's the body. left hand to the body. Third <laughs> shot with a short right hand. Another right hand up top. Final seconds of the 11th. And the lean is hurt again. the one who's going to be feeling this punishment for quite some time. He's taking a beating. Let's look. The 12th and final round. What an excellent job by Joey Gamache to prepare his fighter to be in a spot like this. And what an incredible job by cutman Jorge Capatillo for Tyson Fury to give the undefeated lineal heavyweight champ the opportunity to continue on and put forth this kind of dominating performance. And let's not forget about the young trainer, Ben Davison, who's kept his poise, he stayed calm, and he kept Tyson Fury calm. So Fury can start to assert himself like he's doing right now. Fury has dominated the back half of this fight.
while having a situation. There's a big left hand trying to hit the jackpot kind of punch from the title challenger. He hurt Fury. And he hurt Fury with that shot. Very tied up right there. Can you believe what this heavyweight fight has offered? The lead all of a sudden has a chance here in the 12th round. He's hurt, Tess. 30 to 1 underdog who's been dominating for the last six rounds, and all of a sudden he lands one punch and he's back in business. Stop, stop, stop. No punch, no punch. Let him go, let him go. This fight has had everything. Absolutely everything. Fury's backing up. A left hand comes in for Bottle Tyson Fury's got to move in the other direction. He's moving into the left hand of Bottle Bottle. That's why he keeps getting caught with it. And his face is an absolute mess. The gash is streaming blood down the right side of his face as he continues to paw at it. That's the direction Tyson Fury needs to go for the remainder of this fight. And Otto Valley needs to try to get another big left hand in there before this stop, fight. Stop, He's, trying to, He's, He's trying to line him up. He's trying to line him up. Tyson Fury better keep that right hand up. What an incredible spirited stop, stop, stop. effort from Otto Valine. There he is. Nice little faint right there. From Valin. Stop, stop, stop. Just looking stop, to land that shot a few more times before this bell rings. <laughs> Valin can't allow himself to be tied up by Tyson Fury. He's got to break loose from that clinch and try to get that left hand in there. It's his only shot. Last half minute. Lineal heavyweight championship on the line. A 20 and 0 undefeated little known Swede who's a 30 to 1 underdog looking for one last chance against Tyson Fury. Joe tells the tour, is this not the fight that Tyson Fury said he wanted in the fight? He said he wanted a war, a challenge. He got a bloodbath and an incredibly determined challenger. This is when the sport is at its best. Great, great stuff between Fury.